Welcome to a new series where we take a look at the world of Starfield, the people and life within it. Like any Bethesda game, Starfield has several factions that you can join. Each represents a different ideology, moral compass, and of course, play style. 20 years before our adventure begins, a colony war broke out, which served to further splinter or strengthen these factions. Out in the deep, dark depths of Starfield space, there are five major factions that you will meet. We're going to take a look at all of them today, who they are, and where they fit in the Starfield galaxy. Let's start with the most notorious and dangerous the Crimson Fleet. Every sci-fi universe needs their space pirates. Menacing, mysterious, and definitely not law-abiding. They wear the coolest armor, they have the coolest ships, but you're definitely going to get asked to rob or blow something up along the way. The Crimson Fleet operate out of a former United Colonies space station known as the Key. As the name suggests, it's not just one entity. It's made up of a confederation of several pirate captains that all came together in the name of free living out in the darkness of space. And boy, did people not like that. They even have the Jolly Roger as a symbol. Initially, they were only a problem for the Free Star Collective, who we'll get onto in a minute. But in the year 2330, the pirates started to branch out from their base at the Key and establish footholds in several systems across space. So when we encounter them, they have been expanding and are becoming a threat to other factions. That's when the biggest faction, the United Colonies, recognized them as pretty much one of the most dangerous groups out there and declared anyone displaying their symbol is assumed to be associated with the Crimson Fleet and can be terminated at will. So just be careful where you put your pirate flag. As a member, your primary objectives will be to disrupt the United Colonies, who've pretty much taken over the galaxy, which means you can go undercover or fully commit to their badass pirate ways. But they do say the only way out is death. No one quits. The only way out is death. So, but let's talk about the United Colonies. These guys are without a doubt the biggest, most resourceful, and the most dominant faction you'll come across in Starfield. They are also one of the main groups involved in the colony war that nearly ripped the galaxy apart, but that's a story for another video. They are a utopian republic trying to create the ideal society, and they do that from their capital at New Atlantis, which is by far the biggest city Bethesda have ever created. Consider them the major governing body, and they're led by Fleet Admiral Pascal Logan, who absolutely hates pirates and everything that would threaten the peace the United Colonies tries to to keep. If you feel the same way, you can sign up with them and join the Vanguard, which is kind of like their military. And much like in Starship Troopers, it's the best way to become a fully fledged citizen. Join the mobile infantry and see if you've got what it takes to be a citizen. Let's talk about the Free Star Collective. The other side of the colony war was fought against the Free Star Collective, who were looking for independence from the United Colonies, and they got it. Space Westerns are a great genre, and that's basically the whole vibe of the Collective. They live out on the frontiers of space, free and able to do as they please and wear cool dusters and cowboy hats. They call themselves peacekeepers and very much look after their own people who also don't want to live under the Republican rule of the United Colonies. They are very much the libertarians of Starfield and have the second largest military force of any of the factions. Their home is the city of Aquila, but if you really want to have a good time you can seek out the rock and the free star rangers the true peacekeepers and who doesn't want to be one of those i know you do there's definitely an ncr ranger vibe about these guys during character creation you can even be a free star settler which means you grew up free on the borders of space and that gives you unique dialogue options and faction rewards so go seek them out if you want to live your best firefly life on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, you have Ryojin Industries. This is the future after all, so of course there's a cyber mega corporation looking to make as much money as possible with the most advanced tech and spaceships around. Neon represents them perfectly. It's their capital city that used to be a fishing station and with the power of technology has become an economic and technological advanced hub for all things cyber corporation. But there's also a dark criminal underworld to discover as well as your classic sci-fi nightclubs to party and find trouble in. Because like any rich corporation, there's always more going on below the surface. They are rich, mysterious, and there's definitely going to be something fishy going on. So if you want to lord it about the galaxy with your financial and technological superiority, you should probably pay a visit to Neon. And finally, the first faction you will encounter, Constellation. This group is solely dedicated to the exploration of space, the discovery of the universe's secrets, and working together for the good of mankind. They are kind of like a secret society made up of the best and brightest. They operate out of New Atlantis, but they are an entirely separate faction from the United Colonies. I'd like to think of them a bit like the Blades. They have a higher purpose beyond first appearances. We also know that while working for them, we will be investigating alien artifacts to answer the ultimate question. An artifact known as the Eye will play a pivotal role, it seems, in first unlocking the mysteries of the universe, and as this group is tied into the main quest, it doesn't look like you'll have much of a choice in working with them anyway, except you can, of course, probably just completely ignore the main quest anyway. 
They've been around for a long time, but it seems like most of the universe has forgotten about their existence. It's going to be interesting to see where the main storyline goes and how all of these alien artifacts play into it. So there you go. Those are all the major factions you can expect to encounter while exploring the galaxy in Starfield. Let me know what you want to see me cover next. The Colony War, a guide to the planets and the cities. Really hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it's pumped you up that little bit more for Starfield as well. A thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to get more Starfield videos, they'll be coming at you. You can go ahead and click subscribe as well. So stay tuned for more. I'll see you out there.